Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. Hope you all are doing good. Today we've got a Troy Built Pony on the lift. I was not going to make a video on this machine, but because uh, it only needed a, a few things um, to be able to kind of turn this around and flip it. But unfortunately, uh, I test all the mowers for a little bit around the house and around the yard cut and make sure it's all good. But this one started to blow a little bit of smoke when you would throttle up or throttle down. And after I shut the machine down, I checked the dipstick tube and I was getting some smoke out of there as well. So I think we have a slightly blown head gasket. Um, now this is a 17 and a half horse Intec. And if it is a bad head gasket, this will be the second one I've done this week. So uh, I did kind of start a little bit. I took the hood off and I have already taken the uh, valve cover off from here, but I'll go ahead and start from here. So basically what we're gonna be doing, I lifted the mower up a little bit so that um, I had a tip from uh, one of my viewers to lift up the front of the machine uh, to keep the oil from leaking down. And so far that's working great. But basically at this point, we are gonna be taking the four bolts off on the uh, engine shroud. I got to take these two bolts off for the exhaust and two bolts for the intake manifold and I believe we're gonna have to drop this heat shield which is just two I think three eighths on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the bolts that I need to. I'll kind of move everything off to the side show you guys where we're at and we'll move forward with uh, changing this out. Alright well I've got everything I was talking about earlier loosened up I did the plug is out as well, but the exhaust came off. I just kept everything together over there with the gasket and the intake manifold is just off to the side. Top cover is off. Just trying to get everything out of the way so that we can get all of these head bolts exposed. I believe we have eight on this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight head bolts and those are three eighths. Um, we have to go ahead and loosen up the locking nut for the rocker arms. So get that broke loose. Got those loose because we're going to have to do a valve adjustment. And we're done. And that sucker is tight. Hold on. Let me rotate this engine just a little bit. I'm trying to get some pressure off from it. There we go. So loosen this one all the way up. So we'll get that one off. The push rod, the steel push rod is up top. That is your exhaust. And make sure not to lose these caps. They go on top of your uh, spring retainers. I try to keep everything in a magnetic dish. So I'm gonna rotate this back around again. Got the pressure off of that one. Got that off. Cap, make sure those go. And then we have our push rods, which seem to be in pretty good shape. The aluminum one is on the bottom. I'll roll them across the bench, make sure there's no bends, but they look pretty good. So, I've got basically everything all set here to be able to go ahead and pull this head. So, I'll go ahead and crack these loose. I'm going to go in a crisscross pattern. Uh, that way, I don't really warp the head. And once I get these cracked loose, I'll go ahead and show you guys taking the head off from here. And we'll see if we can find that spot where the, I think the head gasket's blown. All right, I've got the, I've got all eight cracked loose, so I'm just going to take the impact and take all these out. Okay. 
And let's see if this whole thing comes right off. Might have to get the... Don't know where my mallet is. Let me see if I can get the seal broke loose. Pretty sure that my kids ran off with my mallet, so I'm just gonna use a little block of wood to tap this loose. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can find the spot where this is leaking. Let me show you guys. This is where they normally, this is where they generally go, is right here. And it looks like right here. Hopefully that's in focus. Hold on. Yeah. It looks like here and here there's some issues. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this gasket off in one piece and we'll see if we can see where it's been blowing by but I, it looks like right there you can see you can see that mark where it's been blowing through just ever so slightly let me get you guys back on the tripod I'll see if I can get this thing off alright yep just like I thought so let's see if you guys can see this um, right here there's a little spot that was blowing right by and you can see the same mark on the uh, cylinder or on the, uh, the block as well it's just a little bit creeping by but enough where it's going to cause some smoking so um, you know the right way to diagnose this is with a um, a leak down tester but unfortunately I don't have one uh, that is something that I want to get so I kind of just had to hope for the best on diagnostic and so far that's what it's looking like so let me get everything set up we'll start cleaning off this cylinder block and the cylinder head and we'll get everything prepped to be able to put the new gasket on and I've gone ahead and put a rag down into the valley there and took out the two dowel pins uh, the one here and the one here that way I can get this mating surface cleaned up I'm just gonna be doing this with a wire brush on my drill and then I'll be doing the same thing with the cylinder head and we'll get everything cleaned up I'll show you guys how it looks before it's cleaned up and then we will reinstall the new gasket and get this thing torqued to spec all right, so I've got everything cleaned up here. I went ahead and just kind of set the gasket in place, but I put the two dowel pins back in and got all the surfaces cleaned up real good. The cylinder head as well, and down into the uh, valleys where the uh, valves are. And wanted to show you guys real quick, I had looked up when I ordered this, the head gasket, I'm trying to get the glare off there for you. Uh, the head gasket for this one is a 796584 and uh, so that's the one I've got on order for, or that I had ordered for it and I've also got the uh, new valve cover gasket as well so got that on there I'm gonna go ahead and get this put into position and we'll go ahead and just kind of run down the bolts to get them made it up to the head and we'll start the torquing process which is going to be 18 foot-pounds on this one Okay, well, I've just got two bolts in here right now. I uh, got the head lined up with the dowel pins, pushed it up against, and then just hand threaded these top two in there to at least get the head mounted. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys, and if you need to, if you're doing this job and you want to take a screenshot or something like that, this is the, uh, the torque sequence on it. So the way that you're going to want to torque the bolts. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And do it in three sequences. You'll do six foot-pounds in that order, 
and then move up to 12 foot-pounds in that order and then go to 18 foot-pounds for your final torque. So I'm just going to go ahead and run all these in by hand and then I'm going to get my torque wrench out and go in those three sequences and get this uh, all torqued up. And I'll just go ahead and show you guys too because it's a little bit different looking at the gasket versus uh, looking at it when the cylinder's head when the cylinder head is on there so we've got the bottom middle I can get on there Six, so bottom middle, then we've got our top middle. And let's see, then we've got the bottom left. Top right. And then we've got this outside left one towards the bottom. This is number five. And we've got six right here. Seven is down, bottom right. And then eight is right here. And then just repeat, repeat this step, uh, 12 foot pounds and then 18. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the push rods, do the valve lash and get this thing buttoned up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the push rods back in. You can take a flashlight and look down into the uh, valley here and you can see the little cups that they go into. Our steel rod goes up top. We'll go ahead and get that in its cup. Then don't forget your little uh, cap on top of the valve springs. We'll go ahead and put those back on. Aluminum one goes on the bottom. Get that in the cup. Should be good right there. Go ahead and get these back over. I'm just going to Draw them up a little bit by hand, and then I'll adjust. I probably will skip showing you guys the valve adjustment on here because I've got done it quite a few times in videos. So if you want to see a valve adjustment, just check those out. All right, so we got those back in place. I'll rotate the engine a little bit here. So you guys can see, you just want to check to make sure that it's in its, it's in its groove, you'll know because the, the push rod will work like it's supposed to, just like it is right there. So we should be all set. I'll go ahead and get the valves adjusted like they're supposed to, and I'll get this gasket area cleaned up and we'll get the valve cover on. And basically from here, it's going to be reverse order of everything we did. We'll get the valve cover back on, put the exhaust intake. Uh, spark plug, spark plug, uh, wire back on, heat shroud, all that stuff, and we'll give this thing a crank. So let me get buttoned up on here, and uh, we'll crank it up, see how it sounds. All right, well, I got everything buttoned back up. I, I put a new spark plug in there, put some anti-seize on the exhaust bolts, got the new uh, valve cover gasket on here, and everything tightened up, so go ahead and drop this thing down
I love this mower lift too. Honestly, this thing makes life so much easier. Let's see here. Got the jumper pack hooked up because I took the battery out of this the other day to use on another mower because I knew this one was going to need some work. I normally have the lift on the inside, but it helps a lot with the lighting for filming, so make sure my cable stayed on all right crank it up i put a little bit of gas in here because it's empty here we go Well, I will take this outside and probably run this for maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, get it all nice up to temperature, make sure everything is good to go on it. And then uh, as long as everything checks out and we don't have any leaks, then this thing will be ready to go. So, awesome. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I've got a... I think the next one we're going to do, I may have a self-propelled that we're going to do, or I also have a... Uh, craftsman like a newer model of craftsman um, that I picked up about two weeks ago and I'm trying to remember I don't know that we yanked it out the guy's backyard it at least had a flat tire he said it stopped running like three years ago and he had no idea what was going on with it so it'll be fun to dig into and see what's going on and hopefully revive it so I'm gonna try to mix it up a little bit with some repair videos and also just you know the type of uh, repairs and, and bringing back some of these old crusty mowers and uh, having some fun so i appreciate y'all checking it out hopefully this helps somebody with their head gasket and uh, i'll see you guys next time so on that note let freedom ring let this small engine sing see you next time